Hello my beautiful spirits, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you came to join me here today. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot, and we have an energy update for the sign of Aquarius in love. The overall energy is the Two of Swords. What is it that you don't want to see right now? There is something you don't want to talk about, Aquarius. It's just something that is troubling you. It's pecking away at you. Um, energetically, it's it's taking a toll on you right now. When we look at the overall energy and the messages from Spirit, we have a, in perfect harmony speaking to you really on your own you feel very good you feel very solid you like the direction that your life has been going in you've done some great things for yourself we get sacred reverence you have a very sacred reverence for the ideals of love and relationship and you have a powerful move so many of you have made a move. Some of it could be metaphorically. Some of it could be physically. So, But we see this beautiful chess piece. This is something you planned for. It's something that you've desired. And we see angel wings on that chess piece. So spirit has got your back, Aquarius. When we look at the energy of love for you right now, you're very focused on working. You're focused on taking one step at a time, moving forward, planning your days, you know, planning your work and, and working your plan. The Ten of Swords and the Death card speaks to the fact that there's been some sort of ending. It could be work-related because we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, I see this as a career change, something that seemed like a dead end where you were not being appreciated and you've moved off for the rebirth. For, but it is impacting a relationship. And for some of you, it is straight up, you've had a breakup. Because when we get the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands in a reading with the Three of Swords as your fear, um, we see that with the Death card and the Ten of Swords, it looks as though you've had some sort of epiphany, realization, or situation in which love has recently gone you know, astray. There's just something that you're not happy about. Um, and you're just really willing to, you know, sort of stick a fork in it, let it alone, walk away, walking into the sunshine. We get the energy of you being very psychic, keeping to yourself, your inner wisdom. This is Cancerian energy. This is Gemini energy, Virgo energy. So right now you are relying upon your intuition, your instincts to help guide you in the right direction. We have the Libra Queen. That is you being able to discern that it was time to pull the plug on something, to walk away, to leave it energetically. And that takes a lot of courage, Aquarius. That's very, very grounded energy, you know, locking your heart in a cage, doing what you have to do. And we have as your crowning energy right now, again, there's something new that's going on here in regard to money, career, whatever way you're earning your money. But we see you in a time of rebuilding, a time of growing expansion and rebirth. I love the energy here that you have, the Page of Wands, throwing caution to the winds. You want to eat, drink, be merry. You want to be out. You want to have a social group with whom you have a lot of fun. It does show that there is hidden heartache here related to the death card and the Ten of Swords. You know, your biggest fear is that you will attract a new relationship in which somebody doesn't hold the same values. We see you here as a fiery queen of wands as your outcome. That energy speaks to the fact that it's like Aries, a sharp end of the spear. The queen of wands bosses up. She takes control. She's enthusiastic. She's confident. She will not let anybody pull her down. And that is your energy. You're really embodying this very strong independent energy, you know, but very much related to what you require in relationship. And then this independent, fiery new beginning for yourself. What we see here, Aquarius, is that you are in perfect harmony with your goals, with your destiny. Spirit is really, really does have your back, you know, with the sacred reverence for love, the appropriate respect for love, 
You are, you know, these moves that you're making are going to bring love in for you. Now let's go ahead and clarify this because the clarifiers will always add to the story tremendously. But it does look like for most of you, there is a situation that is unfolding as we speak or in the recent past. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles is the energy that you have, Aquarius, of day by day, step by step, doing the right thing and letting the future take care of itself. But you have great passion, happiness, joy and energy that you are bringing to the table. Why is the Virgo energy in love here for our Aquarius friends? Okay, so it does look like you are expecting a reunion with somebody. So, you know, for some of you, you may be making a relocation or you may be moving forward in your career waiting for a return of somebody that you really care about. The Six of Cups, the Scorpio energy, it speaks to a reunion or getting together with somebody that you've known a long time. It can even be a childhood uh, love, you know, somebody from the past. What is it that you are so upset about? The Three of Wands. Somebody, it appears, did not choose you. It looks as though you're in the energy of moving away physically or metaphorically. We get the Six of Coins. You want somebody who's willing to give to you with equal give and take. Nine of Cups, again, now this is echoing here, Pisces energy. You want someone who brings happiness and joy, not someone who is in this sort of energy of what could be deemed very clearly a betrayal, you know, getting stabbed in the back, feeling as though you just have had it with something. Again, I will reiterate, this can be for some a job. And, you know, you might just be enjoying yourself in terms of your love life, having fun with no serious thought right now. When we get the High Priestess card in this, this reading, what do we have? Oh, you are very intuitively manifesting thinking about a person that you love very deeply two hearts beat as one tell us something about this two of cups is this a current energy for you is this a fantasy are you manifesting this or is this somebody who really is there for you in terms of a new love possibility devil energy okay i would say it's somebody from the past so I do see the potential here that some you may have left somebody behind. You may have gone your own route. And for some of you, this person will follow you into the future for a rebirth and love. So that's the way I read it for some of you. The devil energy. Why is the devil energy here? Well, you've closed out a cycle of toxicity with someone. Um, if it's work-related, then it's work. You've closed out a job at work. And we have movement of cups. Romance is brewing. You have, there's a lot of Pisces energy here. So you may be dealing with a Pisces, a Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, um, Two of Swords is a Libra energy. We have Three of Swords is a Libra, Nine of Cups, Pisces, and Sagittarius. So I see that, you know, there's definitely some fire energy here. The Libra Queen has made a judgment call. You have released somebody. You had the power to do it. You took your power in your own hands. You released a situation. Um, you are going to let that person deal with their own karma. You've turned your back on the situation. Why do we have the Two of Swords? The Heart of Wands. Oh, look at this. You don't want to deal with it. You're the Queen of Wands. You're not going to let anybody steal your thunder. You are not letting anybody cast a shadow in your life, no matter how much they've hurt you, no matter how much they owe you an apology. This looks like you've had a relationship with possibly somebody younger or less mature or less successful. It looks as though this person left you in the cold. You know, again, that sort of spiritual energy. But you're not letting it affect you. you well, I'm, obviously, you're feeling your feelings. You're honestly processing it. But you are not going to let it hold you back. You have twin flame energy here. So twin flame energy is something you're currently manifesting. And the Ten of Cups, look at this. Out of misery comes happiness. Out of sadness comes joy. Oh, beautiful. Why is a death card here? 
Death and rebirth, though. Heart of Cups, look at that energy. Queen of Cups energy, you have a rebirth and love coming. A rebirth and a restoration in your faith and love. Oh, my God. You may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancerian. The Sun card. Oh, my gosh. After a lot of time of feeling very much bored, you're throwing caution to the winds. The Nine of Swords, you are all up in your head. Gemini energy, Cancerian energy, but you are going for the gold. You are, you know, you're looking for your sunshine. You're looking for that person who knows how to love deeply. The sun card is, is exquisite energy. It speaks to the fact that your life force is so strong as you forge ahead through this difficult period of time. You're working on yourself. So for many of you, oh, look at this. You may have gotten a dream job. You may be working on a dream job that's going to bring you new love or a lot of fulfillment. It could bring you somebody from the past, but I'm really seeing that you're having a, a joyful time as you work and you develop your skill set. You're very much focused on yourself. The heartbreak, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords here, somebody definitely betrayed you didn't treat you very well, but you know what? You always knew it didn't have anything to do with you. You knew that it was this person. You knew that they didn't have the ability beyond the Page of Pentacles energy. So you've been very intelligent about how you have perceived this relationship. What do we have here for the Queen of Wands, Temperance? So I will say this. Somebody's coming back. Temperance is my number one reconciliation card. With the Six of Cups, I really see that as you work your way forward, it does look like somebody that you feel has betrayed you is coming back. They recognize your stardom, your rising star. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little mini Celtic over here on the side. I'm going to get a different deck of cards. In fact, I was a little unprepared for this aspect of the reading. Um, this reading is really almost more of a singles reading is how I'm reading it with that death card and the ten of swords and the endings there. So I'm going to use my miniature teeny tiny witch's tarot and see if you're going to let this person come back in. Because your person sees you rising and shining like a star, and they want to come back in. So let's see what your reaction will be, Aquarius, with this energy. So shuffling, I'm going to do a little mini Celtic. Will you let this person come back in? The world card. Oh boy, you are you are not likely. Okay, you you closed out the cycle. You released this person. You did it very intellectually. You did it very clearly. The world card is you are rising. You are a rising star, and you know it. And you are gonna throw caution to the winds. However, you are going to only take this person back if they present something better than they have in the past. They're going to come in very quickly as a Knight of Cups, very romantically with you. Uh, that's going to be very attractive to you. And you're staying all calm. Temperance card here. You are keeping your cool about you. You're keeping your wits about you. You're standing on one leg, balancing yourself. You're in a position of power, Aquarius. You have found a beautiful place of power. See, we have Page of Wands here. We've seen the Page of Wands over here. Page of Wands, you know, somebody wants to throw caution to the winds. But, you know, you're not so interested. You know, what we're seeing here is that as you threw caution to the winds to move forward, you're not really so interested. We get that Page of Wands, you know. You're just looking back over your shoulder like that cat is looking at that page going, you know what, I don't want page energy. I want someone who is, you know, more more developed eight of pentacles energy focusing on your work your craft your happiness your stability the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles happiness happiness okay so you are really finding your way aquarius into this very happy uh, energy the tower card okay so you have this person does not expect you to turn them down it looks as though you are going to shock them so let's see what we have here for what they will perceive. What will you do that will shock them? 
the high priestess oh you're gonna stay silent oh <laughs> we have the high priestess here you are not going to talk to them betrayal is betrayal and it looks like right now you don't have a very big interest in discussing anything with them. Knight of Wands energy might have been dealing with somebody who you feel really played you. You know, somebody with a lot of in and out energy, somebody who wasn't reliable. Um, and we see this energy that Wheel of Fortune, you would prefer to stay very much in the energy of allowing spirit to, you know, dial a future up for you that you can trust. You know, you're happy to do that. You'd rather take your chances on love. Seven of Pentacles, you don't want anybody that doesn't have the patience to develop a relationship with you. The Seven of Pentacles energy is the energy of you will only invest, but you're not going to invest with this person. That's a clarifier. Five of Cups, Five of Cups, you've had it. You're going for a twin flame. This person might be a twin flame who is not ready to come into union for some of you. This person could be the, the twin flame. Uh, the Ten of Cups, you may eventually, you know, you might have felt as though you would marry this person. But right now, you are keeping to yourself. So for some of you, I'm going to show you the two ways, that the, the two tracks that I see, two stories, that you're going you have given up this person to allow yourself to meet your twin flame your soulmate your happiness your joy somebody that you never have to worry about betraying you or having a third party um, and you feel really confident but you are you are not having you have ended the world card and the world card you have ended the toxicity for yourself that you've had to deal with you are over it and then, and you're not taking this person back you only want somebody who's going to to invest and you see them as being very likely to hurt you again so tell us one more thing about this outcome for whether you take them back for three of swords nope that is a no answer three of swords three of swords ten of swords ten of swords death 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 no rebirth on this one that is what i have for you aquarius you look like you are having an abundant beautiful life i am so happy that you have not take, let this throw a shadow on your beauty, on your inner light. There you are, Aquarius, in your own reading, becoming the star that you are. And we really see you feeling a little dimmed down because it's reversed, but you have faith in the future and you have every reason to. Aquarius, that is your reading for today. Congratulations on your beautiful strength, the honor and the dignity for which you have released somebody who was not really good enough for you so sending you love from chicago tell me what you think of the reading tell me where you're from i really would love to hear from you and hoping to see you in another reading hopefully next time it will reveal a new love for you take care aquarius thanks so much Bye bye